Steve Gartner, uh, who's seated in the middle, is chair of Wilkie Farr and Gallagher, my former law firm. Vous êtes avec Serge Benchetrit. Bonjour. Vous êtes partenaire chez Wilkie Farr and Gallagher. Let's ask corporate deal lawyer Gordon Kaplan. Wilkie Farr and Gallagher LLP. Tell us about the tax situation. What an exciting evening. Now, I was a little concerned when I heard it was about distress. It's been a long time since we have had distress, but I'm assuming this is talking about the future. And what a lineup. Mitch Joas, Yoselov, Tannenbaum, Shenfeld. But as we all know, it takes attention to detail and the special eye to deal with distressed securities. All you have to do is go to Stephen's office and see how exciting it is to look at that artwork, the detail. Steve is one of the most direct and clear in not only what he wants, but what he doesn't want. Well, Steve has proven himself not just to be a good investor, but to be a terrific business builder. When I think of Steve, I think of somebody who is immensely fair, he really is a family guy at heart. He really spends so much time, and not just time, but time, investment, energy, caring, loving. He's, he's such a great dad, and he's always has such a vested interest in everything we do. I admire my dad's work ethic, his passion for investing, and he loves to give back. Steve is someone who likes to win. If you had to really put it in a nutshell, he likes to win. Not necessarily at the expense of others, but of course there can only be one winner. <laughs> so, Steve um, has always been passionate about everything. He, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, um, and so when he graduated from college, um, he first went into an analyst training program um, at Kidder Peabody, and that was really, he worked extremely hard and I know was very passionate about it. He interestingly chose a path in asset management, which today seems like an obvious path, but back then, asset management was not a popular choice uh, to go into. So it's Steve, it's Steve did a lot of research uh, and found a firm called Mackay Shields, where he quickly uh, took over a lot of the businesses there, including running their hedge fund business. Hi, this is Steve Schwarzman. And why are we here tonight? To honor Steve Tannenbaum for his award for the Young Jewish Professionals Leadership Award. Well, we're doing it for a lot of really good reasons. First, Steve is an extraordinary businessman. I had the opportunity to have a dialogue with him in the year 2000, when a lot of you weren't in the business community, uh, that's for sure. Uh, and I was trying to recruit Steve uh, to join Blackstone to run our distress business uh, and develop a whole credit area. Uh, and uh, we almost had him, uh, but he was a bit too smart and went off to start his own business, uh, Gold Tree, which is now extremely successful. He has $27 billion under management, uh, has excellent uh, performance, and has recruited a first-class staff of people. A lot to be proud of. Secondly, Steve has great values. Uh, he supports his people. Uh, he believes in giving back to the community. Uh, I know he's very involved uh, with the Young Jewish Professionals Group uh, and tries to help people at every turn. You know, Steve is uh, a big brain. He's um, very hardworking. He's very thoughtful. And so his success is something that is translatable to other people if, uh, if he has the opportunity to, to mentor and to develop them. Well, I think part of it is his discipline. Um, Steve doesn't change every week if, with the market up, down, sideways. He's got a pretty uh, disciplined view of the world and valuation and where risk and reward meet. He's a big investor in the distressed debt of Puerto Rico. Uh, Golden Tree is maybe one of the bigger ones. Uh, but when the hurricane hit, uh, independent of the investment, he had planes going down there with food and medical supplies and other things at a moment's notice. Uh, that's not teachable. I asked him once, well, why did you ask me to join you at Golden Tree? You, you know, you had a lot of great coverage at 
Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan and Morgan Stanley, and he goes, you know, Leon, um, yes, I do, and they're very talented people. The problem is I'm not sure how much of their value is from them versus how much from the organization. With you, I saw you build CIBC, I saw you build uh, Dabney Resnick, small firms, and I have confidence that you can do it. When Steve and I got into business and it got into the marketplace, people who knew us went, oh, that's a good partnership. They complement each other well. He really has integrity. He is, it's not to say he's not tough, it's not to say he's not intense, but he's fair. Steve Mazeltov, congratulations. It's a real honor you're getting, and uh, again, I don't know if they kept the part in, but there would be no Molas and Company with you, and I'm eternally grateful. Mazel tov, congratulations. It's a terrific honor. So from one middle-aged Jewish professional to another middle-aged Jewish professional, Mazel tov. Steve, uh, I'm honored to uh, be in a position to uh, have been asked to say a few things about you. Congratulations uh, on all you have built at Golden Tree and all the uh, successes so far, and I'm sure many successes to come. Steve Tannenbaum, Mazel Tov. Congratulations and uh, all the success for many years to come. Steve Mazel Tov, I'm so proud of all that you've accomplished, and I can't wait to see the next 30 years. Dad, congratulations. Uh, we love you, and we're so proud of you. Congratulations, Steve, on a well-deserved honor from a great organization, Young Jewish Professionals. I'm happy that I qualified.